So happy to be here again this Tuesday for continuation of the teaching on science and epistemology. This is part two. And I'm going to be very brief. I'm going to be very brief today. So I want you to please. Yeah, last Tuesday, I taught the part one of science and epistemology. This is part two. I call it theory by evidence. And don't forget, my name is Josephine. I'm the online educator for Language Joe's and Academy of Knowledge Economy. Tuesday like this, I teach a core course, and Friday, I serve you Friday tonic, where I share with you lessons for life. Reliability and truth in science. Epistemology delves into the reliability of knowledge and the conditions under which beliefs can be considered valid or justified in science, the reliability of knowledge is ensured through rigorous testing, peer review, replication of experiments and adherence to establish scientific methodologies, promoting a high degree of confidence in scientific findings. Scientific realism and anti-realism. Epistemological discussions often include debates between scientific realism, which asserts that scientific theories aim to describe objective reality, and anti-realism, which questions whether science provides an accurate representation of the world. These debates reflect the epistemological foundations and goals of scientific inquiry. Skepticism and falsifiability. Epistemological skepticism questions the certainty of knowledge. Science addresses this skepticism by emphasizing falsifiability, the idea that scientific hypotheses and theories should be formulated so that they can be potentially proven false through evidence or experimentation. Subjectivity and objectivity. Epistemology considers the relationship between subjectivity, that is personal beliefs and perspectives, and objectivity, which is impartial, independent truths. Science strives for objectivity by minimizing biases, ensuring replicability, and basing conclusions on empirical evidence rather than personal opinions. Social epistemology and sociology of science. Social epistemology explores how social factors influence the creation and dissemination of knowledge. The sociology of science investigates how scientific knowledge is socially constructed, shared, and validated shedding light on the human and societal aspects of the scientific endeavor. Epistemic responsibility and ethics. Epistemology examines the responsibilities and ethical considerations of acquiring, using, and disseminating knowledge. In science, researchers must conduct ethical research report findings accurately, and consider the potential impacts of their work on the society. Paradigms and scientific re resolutions. Epistemology addresses the notion of scientific paradigms. Dominant theories and frameworks shaping a scientific research within a given field. Thomas calls philosophy of science discusses 
how paradigms shift and undergo revolutions, impacting how knowledge is acquired and understood, highlighting the role of epistemological shifts in the progression of science. Bayesian epistemology and probability in science. Bayesian epistemology employs probability theory to model degrees of belief and objects in beliefs based on evidence. In science, Bayesian approaches are used to quantify uncertainties, make predictions, and update scientific beliefs in light of new ideas, demonstrating the integration of probability theory within epistemology and science. Induction and problem induction. Epistemology grapples with the problem of induction, which questions the justification for generalizing from specific observations to broader conclusions. Despite facing the problem of induction, science relies on induction to formulate hypotheses and theories based on observed patterns and then test this through experimentation and verification. Social construction of scientific knowledge. Epistemology examines the social construction of knowledge, recognizing the cultural and historical context, influence scientific theories and conceptual things on the scientific theories and concepts and concepts and concepts, sorry, understanding how societal factors shape scientific beliefs and practices is crucial for a comprehensive view of science, linking epistemology and the sociology of science. Interdisciplinary and integration of knowledge. Science often operates at the intersection of multiple disciplines, requiring the integration of diverse forms of knowledge. Epistemological discussions on how different forms of knowledge interact, overlap, or conflict are essential in understanding interdisciplinary approaches in science. Ethics of scientific knowledge. Epistemology extends to ethical considerations in science, including issues of honesty, integrity, bias, and responsible conduct of research. Ethical ep epistemology dives into how ethical principles guide scientific knowledge, acquisition, dissemination, and application. Historical epistemology. Understanding the historical development of scientific thought is an epistemological pursuit. In most things, inside everything, historical background is very important. So historical epistemology of development of scientific thought is an epistemological pursuit. It involves analyzing how scientific knowledge has evolved, the sociocultural context that influenced these changes and the epistemic shifts that shaped the various scientific paradigms. These aspects that I've enumerated in this Science and Epistemology II further illuminate the intricate relationship between epistemology and science, highlighting how philosophical inquiries into the nature and limits of knowledge deeply inform the practice methodologies and ethical consideration within the scientific domain. I think we now understand much, much better the intersection of the nature of science and epistemology. Join me on Friday for Friday Tonic and please Tuesday 
when I continue with my teachings, have a very wonderful weekend. Please, if you are not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are, turn on the notification, please. And please share my videos. I also want your feedback. I love your feedback. You can contact me through the email. And I will always respond to you. Thank you. Have a very wonderful week. Don't feel too cold. <laughs>